Thank you, Commissioner McGee. I appreciate that introduction. As you said, I do work for Questar Gas. I'm the Director of Industrial and Municipal Accounts. And I've been to this conference for many years, and I'm so delighted to be here today and congratulate everyone here in Uinta Basin on the beautiful conference center that's here now. It's such a beautiful facility, and the acoustics are so nice. I'd also like to recognize my colleague, Shelly Fenn, who is the manager of Uinta Basin for Questar Gas, who's also here today. Um, and I saw Sherry Martell earlier today, and it reminded me of a, a stint I had at the Economic Development Corporation of Utah um, back in 2011. It was actually right after September 11, 2011, and it was perhaps the slowest time for economic development in the history of Utah. So when I finally got to talk about natural gas to somebody, Jeff Edwards teased me that it was like putting a nickel in the slot. So I'm grateful today that I get to talk about two of my favorite subjects, Questar and natural gas. Speaking of gratitude, gratitude is a quality similar to natural gas. You have to dig deep for it, and if distributed, it will produce warmth. So if you remember nothing else about my presentation today, remember and be grateful that someone at Questar Gas was doing their job this morning so that you could have a nice warm shower. And I'm trying to figure out where I push this button. Ah, that works great. Both Shelly Fenn and I work for Questar Gas, but all three of our major lines of businesses have significant operations here in the Uinta Basin. Questar serves almost a million customers in Utah, Wyoming, and Southern Idaho. Through 27,800 miles of mains and services, and we employ 950 people. Questar Pipeline serves its customers in the Intermountain region, using 2,638 miles of interstate pipeline, and employing 250 people. Wexpro produces 55 BCF of gas per year, employing about 150 people. Here's a map of Questar's territory. As you can see, the Uinta Basin is central to our operations, and an area where all three of our major lines of business have significant interests. You can see the oil derricks representing Wexpro. The red lines represent Questar Pipeline, which brings gas from the producing basins in Utah, Colorado, and Wyoming to Questar Gas customers in Utah and Wyoming. The Questar Gas distribution system is represented by green lines. The most recent additions to capacity for Questar Pipeline in the Uinta Basin include the Uinta Basin Transport to Processing Project, which allowed Questar Pipeline to isolate a portion of its lines to bring gas from the Uinta Basin to the Fiddler area for cryogenic processing. They also looped JL-47, and that, that's now JL-138, and that's 14.7 miles of 16-inch pipe. That increased natural gas capacity out of the Uinta Basin by 63,000 decatherms a day. And the, both of those projects were completed a couple of years ago. I've always been proud to tell people I work for Questar where a tradition of hard work goes back to 1929. I love these pictures of men and animals struggling to bring gas into the fields, out of the fields, into to customers for the first time. They did it with an admirable record of safety and reliability. My colleagues and I work hard to continue to make Questar the kind of company we can be proud of and you can take for granted. And the tradition of hard work continues today in the Uinta Basin. Questar Gas is committed to serving the basin year in and year out, no matter the weather and regardless of the economic climate and the price of oil and gas. In fact, we are committed to helping the Uinta Basin grow by providing reliable, inexpensive energy. The 2.3 million feet of high pressure pipe that we have here include facilities of both Questar Gas and Questar Pipeline. The nearly 2 million feet of distribution main serves 13,500 Questar Gas customers here in the basin. Questar Gas, Commissioner McGee mentioned Anna Darko, but Questar Gas also pays significant taxes here, and we paid 2.4 million in property taxes last year from all three of our lines of business. Pictured, on this, pictured cutting the street for a new service line is Shane Urisk, 
and Colton Worthen, and I thank them for the hard work they continue to do for Questar Gas. I love this slide. Questar Gas continues to be one of the lowest cost providers of natural gas in the United States. And I know when all of you pay your energy bills, you don't think, oh gee, this is so much cheaper than it is in New York. But know that it is. And these low prices benefit our customers and contribute to the opportunity for economic growth in the Uinta Basin. We have a proactive pipeline integrity program. We're continually upgrading our facilities to make sure they're safe and reliable. Questar Gas will be investing $65 million a year for at least the next five years to ensure that we continue to have an admirable record of safety and reliability. In the Uinta Basin, we're working on replacing 208,000 feet of pipe and we're replacing 1,500 services. This picture shows Shane Uris, Justin Parker, and Jeremiah Bird continuing Questar's tradition of hard work, replacing the service line in Vernal. You probably all know about Questar's Thermwise program for homeowners, but did you know that the Thermwise program also applies to businesses? You must be a general service customer to qualify. The purpose of the program is to help businesses identify opportunities to increase energy efficiency and to save money on their energy bills. Both new construction and retrofit projects qualify for the Thermwise business program. Many types of equipment qualify. Food service, laundry, heat, water heat, my favorite. Loved that hot shower this morning. And weatherization. If the equipment you're planning to purchase is not installed on, is not on the list, you can apply for the business custom program. Since 2007, Questar Gas has paid in the Uinta Basin 3,122 residential rebates and 67 commercial rebates. So if you want more information on this project, go to thermwise.com. Almost one in four of our customers in the Uinta Basin have used this, pro this program. If you haven't, you should consider it. Because if you can serve, you can save. This, this slide is for Robin Erickson, who I also talked to this morning. Another good way is to, sit, to save money and to clean the air is to drive a natural gas vehicle. All of our service territory is located in beautiful mountain valleys, and they all trap air in the valleys. So cleaning air is particularly important to quest our gas. We have supported this market with fueling infrastructure for over 30 years. As you can see from this map, we provide CNG from the northern part of Utah to the southern part of Utah along the I-15 corridor. We also provide CNG in eastern Utah in Vernal, Moab, and Price. In my Honda Civic, I drove from Salt Lake City to Naples yesterday on $8 worth of fuel. CNG is about $1.67 per gallon, or about a dollar less per gallon than the gasoline prices I saw here in Vernal. Many major manufacturers produce natural gas vehicles. As I mentioned, I drove up in a Honda Civic, which is a dedicated vehicle, which means it runs only on natural gas. So I was really happy to find the Naples station. But Ford, GM, and Chrysler all produce trucks with a CNG option. Many of those are by fuel, which means they burn both natural gas and CNG. Peterbilt, Navistar, Freightliner, Kenworth, and Volvo all produce medium and heavy duty trucks that run on CNG. Did you know that a majority of trash trucks purchased today run on CNG? I find that particularly exciting. So they're cleaning up our streets and they clean up our air at the same time. Questar Gas puts its money where its mouth is and we drive CNG. We've been driving natural gas vehicles for over 30 years. In our fleet of over 800 vehicles, almost half of them burn natural gas. And then you went to base and we have a fleet of 21 vehicles. Over half of those burn natural gas. Here's a picture of the station that I filled up yesterday in the Vernal area. It's really easy to find. It's right on Highway 40. The price of natural gas is represented by the green line on this graph. And as you can see, it's stable and also consistently lower than the price of gasoline which is represented by the dash line. So in addition to clean air, there's an economic incentive to burn natural gas. And I know we're running late, but if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. And if I can't, I know people in the audience who can.
No questions. So do I, so I have one for you. Do you remember what the one thing is I asked you to remember from my presentation? Anybody? Somebody? Gratitude. Gratitude. You get some golf balls. Thank you very much.